Did you know that the tradition of student apprentices studying technique and theory under the guidance of master artists is older than the Renaissance? Do you wish you could experience what that was like to sit in a studio surrounded by art students at every level of expertise and listen to their work as it was being critiqued and guided by masters of their craft? Now imagine you can get that experience every month simply by becoming a Barnstone Patreon supporter. My name is Kat Barnstone Saffron, daughter of master artist and educator Myron Barnstone, who for over 35 years instructed thousands of aspiring artists of every age and artistic background. We're carrying on his legacy of classical atelier style art education through our Master Guide program, and you're invited. Become a Patreon supporter at the $25 or higher level, and you'll have access to the full mentoring sessions between Barnstone students and their chosen Master Guides. Here's just a short sample of a full-length sessions that you can enjoy every month. So you've got your template here, you've got the diagonals. So in most mm -hmm. cases, you use the correct intersection. So what the, the correct intersection here is where this, where the straight line intersects with this diagonal. All right. So here, here. So you follow the line, the the straight line of the that's at the quarter till it hits this diagonal. And in almost every case, you did that correctly. So here on this one, you follow the, again follow that quarter line till it hits a diagonal. And sorry, this is a little sloppy. So this one's kind of. Sure. But in that in that vertical ellipse, you it looks to me as though you used the intersection of the two diagonal rather than oh, right. rather than the vertical and the diagonal. Does that make sense? Oh. And be and that means that so that just made the whole thing a little bit too large. Where it should have come through, it should have come through here. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, th I think I know why that um, happened. It's because last time I had the opposite problem. It wasn't sort of sticking out a lot, so okay. I was making like really big sweeping. Uh, yeah, just is so I wasn't it, trying to get in the middle. <laughs> yeah. So um, I, did. I would say in the umbrella version, probably just leave it because you've got so many other lines in there. When you, if you try to erase that one, it's going to uh, erase, you're going to end up erasing other things. But okay. I would try, I would correct that on your, just your plain template. If you're going to try to do a truncation, you want to make sure that your, that your base template with the um, just the two ellipses and the circle and the cube. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sure that this is this... Really accurate before you use it for the truncation. Um, yeah, I wanted to uh, talk to you about the truncation yeah. in a bit. Um, but first, I've, I've just done, started to draw a quick template. So I've got these two. Points here. Um, where is it? All right. I'll just do the top bit. And so here's what. So okay, wait. So I'm okay. gonna stop you. I'm gonna stop you right there. Yeah. So let me do a screen share again. When you're drawing the ellipse, I for this, I recommend having this on a a flat or slightly inclined surface, not vertical. Oh, okay. We either either, right. either lay it on a table or prop it on your legs against the table, but 
you don't want it vertical on the easel. You want to hold the pencil for this, hold it as though you're writing a letter. And oh, so it's the writing grip. What? Yeah, the right. Yeah, for this, for for drawing the arc, in this case, it's going to be as if you're writing, and then um, you're going to make this motion. This is the natural motion of your wrist. Anything outside of this starts to get awkward and makes it harder to make a smooth curve. So let me just move this. To a oh, stop being doing it wrong this whole time. So this, uh, yeah, and I'm sorry. I should have gone over this before you went into this and that could have perhaps saved you some trouble, but it looks as though for the most part, you've got some really nice ellipses with however you're doing it, but for future ease, hold it as if you're writing and you just, I mean, I'm left-handed, so like, here, let me just switch to, so this is the motion that gives you the smoothest arc because you're just, you're doing what's natural for your wrist. So what you do is you just turn the paper as you go. So you're always drawing in this position and you just rotate. So I'm going to draw this and then I'm going to turn the paper. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're always just making this this easiest motion for your wrist, not trying to twist it around behind or underneath. All right, yeah, it's because of the other things like horizontals and verticals, like you right. sort of hold it like this, don't you, for right. doing horizontals, verticals, but this doesn't apply to the curve. You just hold it right in grip and use your arm and uh, turn the paper. Right, and the other thing, Join us in keeping Myron's legacy alive. Join the Barnstone Patreon today. Follow the link embedded below and you'll get full length lessons just like these, plus much, much more every month. You'll learn a new, fresh perspective, insight, and technique with every session. We really can't wait to see you there. As Myron would always say, thank you and be well.